Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the, the Lenovo ThinkPad Thunderbolt 4 workstation dock. So this is probably the highest end dock that you can get. The one requirement is that the PC that you're using this with must support Thunderbolt. So. What we're going to do, since I did recently cover that P15V AMD based ThinkPad, which has a USB 4 port, we're going to see if this docking station will actually work with that laptop. Um, so, just opening up the box, you can see it comes with instructions on how to connect it, service and support stuff, and you get the interesting proprietary cable from Lenovo, so what's cool here is I've always liked, I've always been a big fan of Lenovo's docking stations. You can see I have a whole bunch of them here um, from my collection over the years, but then recently I was using the USB-C to USB-A hybrid dock, um, but I do want a newer dock that doesn't require me to use DisplayLink. DisplayLink is a technology that allows, uh, basically you can display to a monitor using USB as opposed to, you know, DisplayPort or DVI or HDMI or whatever. So, so it's interesting. So I can now natively drive monitors using uh, DisplayPort. So or HDMI. Just kind of open this up here. So looks very similar at first glance to the USB-C dock. In fact, it actually feels lighter. It is slightly taller the USB-C, but this one does feel heavier. This might have more uh, hardware in it to make it work because this, like I said, this is using Display Link technology, which is an interesting way to get monitor output via USB. So it is a nice, uh, this I will say is a lot more backwards compatible or compatible in general with a lot of other types of laptops. You can use this with laptops other than ThinkPads. Just because it says ThinkPad, it doesn't mean that you can, you only can use it with ThinkPads. Um, I have shown how to use this with a Lenovo Legion 5. Now, granted, that is another Lenovo laptop, um, but I have tested it with both the USB-A connection to this from that laptop and the USB-C, and it works fine. So I assume they would work fine with any other laptop because, you know, that, that's not a ThinkPad. So there's a video on the channel regarding that older docking station. Today we're going to be looking at the Thunderbolt 4 workstation dock. So you can see here on the back, that's where the power plug goes. Then you have this proprietary type connector. So on this end, this is going to be the power in, and this is going to be the Thunderbolt plug that goes into the dock. So it's going to go like this. So that connects in like that. And then on this end, you have the power. So this is the slim tip rectangular power connector that Lenovo has used. The nice thing about, so probably the reason why I have a Legion gaming laptop and a bunch of ThinkPads is because the nice thing about with Legion being Lenovo, I can actually use this power plug with the Legion laptop. So Legion and ThinkPad uh, share the exact same power connector. So that's really cool. Now what's cool about this is this is magnetic. So you can see it just kind of like instantly like clips on. And you can see it's got the Thunderbolt logo there, the lightning bolt, and it's a four. So this is a pure Thunderbolt four connector with a cable here. Um, so we disconnect that. I'm just looking around here. So you have a Thunderbolt. This looks like this is Thunderbolt out. So you could probably connect a Thunderbolt display. I will be testing an Avermedia Live Gamer Bolt. That is a Thunderbolt three device. We're gonna see if that can be driven off of this dock connected to the laptop via the dock. So, and we also have two display port connectors and a HDMI, so you can actually drive three independent displays here. Um, unlike the, if we look at the hybrid dock, so the hybrid dock has a, an either or. So you can do two of any combination. So you could do like display port and display port or display port and HDMI or HDMI and HDMI or HDMI display port. But you can't do like three or four of them all together. Whereas this doesn't have any sort of limitations. So that's really nice. And then you have two 10 gig USB 3.2 Gen 2. Uh, and then this one supports power, like this can charge a laptop or a, a phone. And then you have a full RJ45 gigabit ethernet port. 
and then another USB 10 gig port. So on the back, that's a lot of connectivity, uh, much more high end than what I have on my old hybrid dock. And on the front side, you have a USB C 10 gig with power. So again, you can charge your phone off of this or some device. And then you have a 10 gig USB Type A, which is really nice to have in addition to the other. So four total of those. And then uh, you have the 3.5 millimeter dual. So this is the microphone and the headset plug in there. And then on this side you have the Kensington lock. And on the other side you don't have anything. Then you have a power button here. Uh, and then I think that logo. So really, really nice. Uh, the other thing too is on the underside, you can mount it. There is a kit that can allow this to mount to a monitor stand. Um, like this would be the, the, I guess the pole that the monitor would be mounted on, the VESA mount. So they do have an accessory kit for installing this there. Um, so that's really nice. Or you can wall mount it. Um, but that's pretty much it. If we look what else is in the box, I think the only thing in there is going to be the power cord. So you get the power cord. This is a beefy power cord. So three prong. Uh, and then it looks like the massive 300 watt, 300 watt power adapter that ships with this. So that is a massive upgrade over the, I want to say the one that comes with the hybrid C is like a one, 70 watt if I'm not mistaken it might be 230 or 170 or maybe even 135 um, but this guy comes with a massive 300 watt so that will allow you to power um, all the peripherals that connect and use power here um, as well as charge the laptop while it's connected to this so we're going to do a in-depth video looking at how an AMD based ThinkPad works with the, with this new working workstation dock. So if you guys are interested in that video, stay tuned and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.